come into next to swap my stuff and it's dangerous in here. All the home stuff, it's so gorgeous. Little puppy, little puppy, did you enjoy your walk? Woo, woo. I feel like I'm looking pretty snazz. Good morning everybody, welcome back to another week of vlog. Um, I am off to take Toby out for a nice little walk because it looks like it's going to chuck it down so I thought I'll do it now, get it out of the way, gets me out of the house. I've had a really productive morning actually, um, I've got so much to do this week, sorry it is actually Tuesday today, I was feeling like crap yesterday so I just got my head down and I did a load of work and coughed and spluttered all over my laptop so <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit better today even though my throat's killing me. Uh, so yeah I'm all dolled up because I need to film a video later, it's all good, nothing else to report so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Little puppy, little puppy, did you enjoy your walk? Woo, woo. Having sticky chicken for lunch just because we really fancied it and why not? And then at least we can portion this off and it'll go for the rest of the week too. 50. So, exciting news, I can reveal that my very first Bumble event is going to be on the 25th of November, which is a Saturday, uh, and it's a bloggers afternoon tea, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, I've already posted it in my Patreon group and I've got a couple of you guys coming along. I think I've got about five places left as of now, so um, I'll try and remember to update you at the end of the vlog or whatever. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to come along, it's absolutely free to attend. You get afternoon tea at Refuto in Birmingham, which is a very cool like Pan-Asian restaurant that have just started to do afternoon tea. You get a glass of Prosecco and loads of Bumble goodies as well. So yeah, if you'd like to come along and you're a blogger and you're in or around Birmingham, then, um, where's Toby? I could hear him eating something. Uh, then let me know. Leave me a comment or um, I'll leave all the information down below actually and then you can come uh, over and let me know that you'd like to attend and hopefully there'll be some spaces left. So yeah, really exciting. They're not all going to be bloggers events. Um, they will be events for non-bloggers as well but it's just the first couple that I'm doing are blogger events in order to try and get the word out there. But yeah, really excited. I can't wait to meet some of you guys and just hope it all goes to plan. <laughs> Good morning everybody. I look like I've been drove your head backwards today. He <laughs> spent all that time yesterday doing my hair and then it just goes flat overnight instantly. Anyway, um, yeah, another boring day I'm afraid in the house, cracking on with stuff, um, I've got loads to film, loads to edit, oh, it's just such a busy week so I'm afraid these vlogs are a little bit boring, don't even have anything going on in the evenings, it's exciting and the weather is horrendous today so um, yeah, I can't even like disappear for an hour on my lunch break for a nice nice long dog walk but um yeah never mind it still looks so red why does it look so red in this camera today <laughs> anyway um, i've had some lovely clothes delivered from next um put some instagram posts sorry i'm just eating my lunch uh, and it's a lovely rust colored suede skirt some nice boots and a really like cozy jumper but I've overshot the sizes on the skirt. I ordered a 12 and actually I think I probably could get away with a 10. And the boots, I got six and a half, which is normally my size, but I think I need a seven. So I'm gonna head over to next later and hopefully I'll be able to find those and swap those over. I'm also tempted to buy a black um, thick parka because that one I got from Superdry is amazing and it's in this season's color, bright red. Um, but now it's getting so cold and I'm so old that I just don't really care about fashion anymore <laughs> And whenever I go out, I want to just be warm So I'm thinking if I get a black parka that's not too expensive, but still quite warm um, It'd be good for those days where we sort of like go out for dog walks and then maybe go to the pub afterwards And don't want to look like um, <laughs> I've just walked in from the Arctic because that super dry one is going to be perfect for winter winter But maybe I need one just um, for sort of like autumn and spring <clears throat> it's a little bit lighter and massive win um my jules wellies which i wear every single time i walk toby uh, i've got a hole in and i'm absolutely gutted and they are just over their year warranty um so jules have really kindly offered to send me a new pair which i am so happy about because i absolutely love these wellies and literally i wear them every day <laughs> and i keep forgetting that they've got a hole in so i go into the into the duck pond or into like mud and stuff and i'm like Ah, my foot's very wet. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much Jules for sending those over. When they come I'll show you them because I, the ones I've got don't exist anymore. So we've chosen some different ones and they're so pretty. Can't wait to show you. Um, so yeah, actually pretty good win today on the clothes front considering that I don't often buy new stuff. Um, or like get new clothes or anything so it's quite nice actually. It makes me feel, makes me feel pretty good but I am actually going to have a massive clear out because that is my wardrobe. 
and it's ridiculous because half the stuff I don't even bloody wear anymore. So I think I'm going to have a big clear out this weekend and send a load of it to charity and just go for more of a capsule collection because there's literally stuff here that I got sent when I very first started blogging about five years ago that I never wear. But then again, I've just started looking at that now and thinking maybe I should wear that more. <laughs> I'm just rubbish with fashion. I don't know what's in, what's going to stay in or anything. So yeah. Definitely need to clear out, I reckon. But yeah, these deliveries mean that there's going to be some nice Instagram photos coming your way. So make sure you come and follow me at xmulirex. And also, um, I might put together some like outfit posts on my blog as well. Because you guys always like those. I just feel like such an idiot posing for them. But I'm kind of getting there. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Toby's new foods arrived today. And they've given us some little dog treats. Which apparently smell really good. Do you want one? You can have one because you are a good boy. <laughs> You're very good. Take it gently, good boy. Good boy, they're nice. Are they tasty? <laughs> um, let me know, guys, how you're getting on with this food. Because I know a few of you have signed up with my um, code. So you can get a free month supply of dog food. Um, if you use my code, I'll leave it down below. But Toby loves this stuff. It's amazing. And it just gets delivered. <laughs> There's no more treats. It gets delivered to your door every month, so it's just super handy. And uh, yeah, no more stinky doggy trumps since switching to this. And also, I found that he was getting, uh, sorry if this is a bit TMI, but um, he was getting quite regular puppy diarrhea. And then ever since we changed to tails, it stopped. So it's a godsend, really. The joys of being a puppy mummy. <laughs> Get to discuss poo every single day. Pretty much what me and Lucy talk about the most nowadays. <laughs> but we wouldn't change them for the world. I have had such a bloody productive day today, it's been amazing, but now I've just looked outside and it's dark and it's only four o'clock, so <laughs> serves me right, it snuck up on me, so I'm just gonna put Toby's light up colour on and take him for a little run around the park, I think. It'd be nice for me to actually get some fresh air as well. And then I've still got a few little bits and bobs to do later, but yeah, feel really good today. I had such a positive day, so productive. Toby, do you wanna go for a walk? <laughs> Come on next. I come into next to swap my stuff and it's dangerous in here. All the home stuff, it's so gorgeous. Good morning everybody, happy Thursday. Oh, I feel like crap today. I, for some reason, got like the worst heartburn ever last night and it woke me up in bed at about 3 a.m and i was up drinking like um bicarbonate of soda and soy milk and yogurt trying to get it to go away but it just it hasn't basically it's got a little bit better but i've just had my toast and it's just come back again i've never had heartburn before well never like this anyway so don't have anything in the house to deal with it so i'm just gonna nip over to tesco and get some ready or gaviscon or something but oh my god it was so painful like so painful to the point where i was like oh my god my stomach's about to fall out no in my look this year i've probably got a stomach ulcer or something anyway um <laughs> so today Got lots of filming to do. Um, had a really productive day yesterday, so I want to stay on a roll. We're on track to sort of finish everything off by the end of the week. Um, I'm gonna nip into town and get like a little chocolate toner just to go on the top on the front bits here to get rid of this redness. Um, and yeah, that's about it. And then I'm gonna wash my hair, get all dolled up, and start filming. So if I'm a little bit quiet today, that is the reason why. Also got that much washing up to do. Ridiculous. Um, had a nice parcel though today from a company called Sapphire and Bell. Um, and they make handmade little dog treats, and they're so cute. We've got loads of different ones, and a little dog toy, which I'm not sure is gonna last very long with Toby. Susie <laughs> be likes it. Toby, what's this? Where are you? You there? What's this? What's that? You can probably smell the treats on it because they came in the same. Oh, yeah, no, I think he likes it. <laughs> so thanks very much, Sapphire and Bell. I'm going to try out some of these treats. They look amazing. I really need to get baking again. I'm making some treats. Anyway, yeah, so if I'm a bit quiet today, <coughs> that is the reason why. Head down, another productive day. Um, get some distance between me and this busy week. Do you like that? Is that nice? Do you like it? Do you want to try some of the treats? He's like, no, I'm going to take my bone in the corner. 
you're gonna destroy that within a day i think i'm so sorry guys <laughs> Oh my goodness, my new Jules wellies arrived. Oh, how gorgeous are they? Look at the little bow at the back. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. Thank you so much, Jules. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm going to treasure that. I'm going to look like the best dog walker ever. They are good. I never thought I'd get this excited about wellies. Look at what you've turned me into. A baby ball. <laughs> And I've got some new socks from uh, D and H London, so uh, they will go inside my new wellies. <gasps> They're just so pretty. <laughs> There's deer over there again, bouncing through the trees. Toby doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's just bounding over there. Hello, little man. Hi. <laughs> When this Revlon thingy majiggy dropped through my door, I was not convinced. I just thought, it's like a, it's a hairdryer, if you didn't hear me talking about it last week's vlog, sorry. It's a hairdryer that, um, like, volumizes at the same time, so it's basically like, ugh, my hair in there. It's basically like a heated barrel brush, essentially. And I didn't think it was going to work, but I used it the other day, and I have to say, I'm really impressed. Especially because this is how much hair I've got and how thick it is. It's incredible. I really, really like it. It's very powerful. Um, your hair doesn't get tangled up in the bristles, which is what I thought was going to happen, even though I've lost a lot of hair. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I was just going to get in a big tangled mess, but I didn't, and it actually works really well. And it works really well for me because I tend to just blast mine dry with the GHD, um, and I still just blast it through a little bit, and then I will now go through and work with this. Um, and I find that it just, it doesn't take any more time, but it just makes sure that my hair is actually completely dry, if that makes sense. Whereas before, I just used to blast it and then give up quite quickly and then it would stay semi-wet and then just sort of go a bit frizzy. But this gives you like a salon blow dry. I'm really impressed. I'll find the details and leave it down below. Um, but yeah, I genuinely didn't think it was going to work. Sorry, Revlon. Uh, but it does. So get some thumbs up from me. And I'm thinking of doing favourites videos again. So uh, this is definitely going to be going in that. Really like it. Really like it. Even though she makes me uncomfortable, I'm still watching Nigella and I'm going to watch Sinner later, even though it's going to give me nightmares. Why does my hair look so red in this viewfinder in low light? I give up. <laughs> Morning everyone, happy Friday. Um, so today I am filming a video with the awesome people at Free From Shaving. Um, I think I've banged on about them before, I definitely put them in a favourites video because they use that video on their Facebook marketing, so you might have seen my face pop up on your Facebook timeline, banging on about them. Um, they're an awesome company that basically send through their subscription box for razors which is interesting. So you pick either three, five or seven pound a month subscription and they, every month they send you four new razor blades. So it means you can change your razor blade every week. So it always stays sharp and um, yeah, and it's a fraction of the price of a normal razor and they're actually really good ones, like really heavy proper razors instead of the plasticky crap that you buy in boots. Um, so yeah, I've got this technique that I learned probably about two years ago actually on how to get like um, a really close shave and stop shaving rash. And it's one of those things that like I was just doing and then I told Lauren about it, I think it was, and said, oh yeah, try it this way. She tried it and she was like, oh my God, this is amazing. It sort of like changed my life. And I was like, do people not know about this? I thought everyone was kind of doing it. So, long story short, uh, FFX have sponsored a video on that. So I can share my technique with you guys. Um, and I'm partnering up with them because one of the one of the steps is make sure you've got a sharp razor because it really does make a difference on shaving rash. And obviously that's perfect for them because with their service you get a sharp razor every time. Uh, so anyway, we're partnering up with that. I'm very excited about it. I've tried to film it a few times this week already but it's just not quite gone how I want it and I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So today is the final day to get it all um, edited and wrapped up and sorted in a manner which I am happy with. So that is pretty much my goal for today. My hair looks so red. <laughs> it's really funny, it just changes every time I wash it. So, um, well, welcome to the world of toners. Yeah, I might have to go back in at some point and maybe get them to put like a chocolatey tone on it. Mind you, I do quite like it, that's the problem. But I'm a bit of a stickler for looking natural and uh, I don't know, we'll see. I like the fact that every time I wash it, it comes out a bit different. <laughs> 
So about two weeks ago, I was doing an Instagram Live and somebody asked the question of what supplements am I taking? Because when I first started to do my juicing, oh God, how long ago was that? Can't remember. But I think I just mentioned that I um, really got into supplements and it really sort of helped my immune system and boost everything. Um, so yeah, and one of the companies uh, that I take supplements from asked me to chat about it in the vlog. So I thought, perfect opportunity let's have a chat so the things that I take at the moment are a multivitamin uh, I take zinc and odorless garlic and I also take vitamin d3 which is what I wanted to chat to you about today and also because I have been <coughs> Um, doing a lot of focus on mental health and depression, vitamin D3 is a really good one for that. So for those of you who don't know, vitamin D is what we get from the sunlight. So I suffer from seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, um, and I have suffered for many, many years of that. And this year it's got a little bit worse because of my actual depression as well. Basically I'm just broken up there. Um, and it's because we have really long dark days, even though today it's actually quite bright and nice outside. But those of you who live in the UK will know that most days in the winter or the depths of winter, it's really bloody miserable. It's dark when you wake up, it's dark when you go to bed. And yeah, it's just really depressing. So sad or seasonal affective disorder, is affects uh, some of us because our brains can't regulate the correct um, levels of serotonin, which is the happy hormone, even though it's a neurotransmitter, but we're not gonna get super sciencey. Um, and we overproduce melatonin. And that's because of the lack of vitamin D and the lack of sunlight triggering through our brains. So one way to combat this is by having a vitamin D3 supplement. Now you can get this from your diet, things like Salmon, sorry, I'm a bit geeky, I know a lot about this. <laughs> I can do science, me. Um, but you can get it from like salmon, egg yolks, uh, milk and stuff. It's a really good way to help your body reuptake calcium, good for healthy bones. But it's also really beneficial for mood. So there's been loads of studies. Also, I'm a psychologist, so again, study geek. Um, but there's been loads of studies that have showed um, people taking vitamin D3 report better moods, less depression, rather than those that are taking a placebo because it just helps to lift your mood. So in the winter time, I don't tend to take it all year round, um, but especially in the winter, well, I have been taking it a bit more recently just because I thought it might help with my depression stuff. Um, but definitely in the winter, I take vitamin D supplements because it's really difficult to get everything that you need from your diet. Uh, and of course, apart from days like today, it's really difficult, especially in this country, to get it from sunlight alone. And I don't really want to be going on some beds because just don't think they're very good for you. So basically, the company I get mine from are from Vita Premium and I get them from there because they come in a box like this and this does you for an entire year and they're really not that expensive and they're optimal strength as well so it's just like one teeny tiny little capsule and uh yeah you just take it once a day and i really saw a difference when i started taking vitamin d3 and um, i was always i used to be really against sort of like supplements and stuff because i don't really like taking pills but now because I, I basically if you shake me i rattle with all the stuff that i have to take um but now i'm just not bothered about it so yeah i take a multivitamin some zinc and my vitamin d3 in the winter time so yeah check it out see what you think i'll leave a link down below to the ones that i get um full disclosure they have sponsored this part of the vlog but i thought i take them anyway so do you know what let's work together uh, but i'll leave a link down below for you guys so you can see and i'll write down the kind of other stuff that i take as well i think you can get really sort of obsessed with taking supplements and stuff the best way to do it is through your diet but definitely it's a really good way to just triple check that you are getting everything i think when you kind of take them in line with a healthy diet as well that's the best way to do it um, and try and get outside that helps even if it's just sort of for, like for a little walk on your lunch break get outside because even if it's a bit cloudy the sunlight will still penetrate through and help but um yeah it definitely helps me so i just thought i'd mention that for you guys and uh yeah let me know what you think about supplements in the comments down below um i need to get back to my juicing i do it like occasionally but i was doing it every day before and it really really made a difference so I need to dust off the old juicer again i think and get back on it <laughs> just finished filming and I think I'm happy with it you just never know until you start editing so I'm gonna get cracking with that it's nearly pitch black it's like three o'clock what time half past three half past three and it's pitch black outside anyway um I hope Malou doesn't cancel on me tonight because I'm all doled up 
I've got my false eyelashes on and everything. So I'm excited to go out and have a couple of cocktails. Not gonna go mad, because it's the end of the month, and to be honest, after the car and after his vet bill, I can't really afford anything. But I think we're gonna go for two for one cocktails and just have one or two and then head back and sit in front of the telly. So yeah, fingers crossed, because I really feel like going out and hitting the town tonight. But first, editing. What we feared has unfortunately happened. So um, Mallory's um, childcare fell through, so unfortunately she can't come round tonight. And I'm actually gutted because I've had such a good day. Um, sorry, it's pitch black in this bloody house. Like, ugh. I've had such a good day. I've just finished editing my video. Um, it's about quarter to six, so I'm done for the week. I've had such a productive week as well. Like, I've been really busy. And I'm so proud of all the content and everything that I've finished from today. That I just wanted to go out and have like a little drink. Anyway, so Josephine is saving the day. Um, and we're gonna go out for one. Just she hasn't got much time because she's got three kitty winkies. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go out for a drink and just celebrate a little bit because I'm all dolled up as well, got me falsies on. So yeah, I'm gonna put my little pleated skirt from Primark on and maybe even some heels because she's driving. <laughs> so I don't have to walk into town. So yeah, gonna get out of the house, have a drink and uh, have a little bit of a natter, so that'll be nice. Not the night I planned, but still, nonetheless, gets me out the house, doesn't it? Also, just had um, ex Joe at the door because Neom have sent a parcel to his house, which is bizarre because I've worked with them a number of times since I moved house, and it's been over a year, so I don't know why they've sent things there. However, it's all worthwhile because they've sent through their Christmas collection, and I'm so excited, I need to show you. Oh my goodness, look how pretty they are. Oh, so we've got a uh, Christmas wish and perfect piece, I think. So they're the same sense that they normally do, but they're limited edition for Christmas. And then every year the um, the glasses change. Oh, they're so pretty. I love them. Thank you, Neom. This is made by we. And then there's also a little bath oil and hand balm, which is really handy size. I'm going to pop that in my handbag. Oh, love, 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 love. I swear I'm Neom's number one fan. <laughs> It's so funny, I haven't seen He Who Must Not Be Named in <laughs> so long, actually. And it was, he looks exactly the same. Like, exactly the same. It's weird. I like to think I've changed a little bit, if not gone red, um, over the last year. But yeah, he just looks exactly the same. It's just odd. When I see him, it's just like, oh, hi, thanks for the parcel, bye. There's like, just nothing there. Which is odd, isn't it? Like, how you can be with somebody for so long and sort of be close to somebody and then see them and they're just nothing to you. So it's bizarre. I've always found it bizarre. But, um, yeah, how strange. Toby didn't like him, barking at him through the gate. <laughs> good boy, Toby, good boy. I want to show you my outfit of the evening. So this jumper is from Primark and uh, it's very similar to the other one I've got but it's not as thick and chunky knit. Then this necklace is also from Primark. Skirt from Primark as well and jacket, guess what? It's from Primark. Uh, and the shoes are old from New Look but they fit really nicely. I just thought I want to put some heels on because I haven't worn heels in ages. So yeah, I really like my outfit, autumnal colours. And then my lipstick is NARS Scarlet um, Empress, yeah, Scarlet Empress. Um, I think I might keep my glasses on, on or off. I don't know, I quite like them on. Cause it's early doors drinks, it's not like at at. So uh, yeah, it's my outfit. I feel like I'm looking pretty snazz. The joys and wonders for working for yourself. It's absolutely fabulous, wouldn't change it for the world, but you do get a bit lonely sometimes. Ah, well that was short and sweet, but very nice. I always have like a rhubarb gin when we go to that bar. I absolutely bloody love it. Rhubarb gin and tonic. I'm going to have to get some. I think it's Slingsbury gin. I'm going to have to research it and buy some for the house. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just staying in. It's just me and the doggo for the rest of Friday evening. So I'm going to get my PJs on. I'm going to snuggle in, watch Gogglebox. I might go to Tesco, get myself a ready meal. Something a bit naughty and quick and cheap and easy. Uh, and then settle in. And then tomorrow, I don't know. I might go for a coffee with the dog. <laughs> He's looking very miserable there. You left me. You left me all alone. <laughs> Might go for a coffee with the dog. Maybe write a blog post. We shall see. The world is my oyster. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. What year is this? <laughs> I literally didn't set an alarm this morning. I woke up. I've just woken up and it's 20 past 12. 
I must have needed the sleep because, oh my goodness, normally, like, well, actually, no, I think I got up about 8 o'clock because Toby starts to wake me up at 8 o'clock because he needs to go out for a wee. And uh, I gave him his, I, like, sleepily gave him his breakfast, let him out for a wee, um, went for a wee myself, and then just got, I thought, oh, I'll just lie back in bed. Woke up for, like, four or five hours later. Oh my goodness. Well, there you go, must have needed it. So, the morning has gone. Um, I'm currently making myself some toast with pate and ham, um, and a cup of tea, and then, yeah, I'm gonna start the day. Oh, I feel really bad. I feel great for the sleep, but I feel really bad. Oh dear. Never mind. Never mind. Right, I'm all dolled up. And go and watch the lights, which I seems a bit silly, really, but I've just kind of, I don't know, this week, I've just really got into looking after myself again. And even if I'm in going out to watch the lights, which I'll put some makeup on, do my hair, nice outfit, and yeah, just rock it. Never underestimate the power of a bit of self-care. I'm a terrible food vlogger. I didn't even take a picture or show you what it looked like before I started eating, but this is so, so good. Happy Sunday everybody and a very happy Sunday indeed. I'm at the Lost and Found in Birmingham because they've just launched a bottomless brunch. So you get loads of cocktails for free for two hours and I've just had Eggs Benedict which was so nice. Yeah, very, very happy indeed. Definitely recommend it. I had an afternoon tea here actually with my friend Emily not so long ago and it's so pretty in here. Um, but yeah, what a, what a great way to spend a Sunday. And it's from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. So even if you can't bother to get up early, you can still come down and enjoy it. Cheers. <laughs> hey team, sorry this is becoming a bit of a, uh, a thing, me not rounding off the vlogs. I completely forgot to say goodnight last night. Had a lovely time at the German markets and bottomless brunch. It was just a nice Sunday, nice to get out. So anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon team because you guys have been really supportive. You know, you know that you have, and we've had a lot of chats in our little Facebook group, and you've just been so supportive this week when I really needed it. And I'd, so I just wanted to say an extra thank you, and a thank you to you guys who leave me lovely comments every week on these vlogs. Like, you're the reason why I keep doing this, all of you, and I just, I just, I'm feeling the love right now, and I just wanted to say thank you. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Most other people my age are sipping on green tea and eating avocado on sourdough. I've got a Yorkshire gold and some pop tarts. And that is pretty much as exciting as my Thursday gets. <laughs> Who eats a freaking tea bag? You are.